guys. All right, Dex Forbes, thank you. All right, so we want to take you out to Mike Seidel. He's in the Dallas area. Mike, what are you seeing? Hey guys, uh, I'm out here in the parking lot at the hotel near Dallas Love Field, and boy, that squall line just rocked and rolled through here. You can see the heavy rain right now, and the temperature has dropped considerably. It must be down in the low 50s. I'm a bit chilled because I got hit by the downpour, and you can see uh, the wind blowing the rain across the parking lot as I uh, look into the uh, lights here. Uh, still raining very, very hard. Not quite as windy, but you can uh, sense how the, the wind is whipping the rain around. We've had a little bit of lightning and thunder, but not the kind of lightning uh, in thunder we had about 8 o'clock tonight when that first storm came through the area. Uh, folks running for cover here. Here comes the wind blowing the, the chilly rain right in my face. But it is still very, very gusty out here. Again, we're just about 4 or 5 miles north, northeast of downtown Dallas. Our second storm of the night. This one, the squall line we've been following uh, across the Metroplex. And it's still uh, blowing the wind in the rain as we saw with Corey Hartman. The same kind of pictures we saw when he was... Uh, down there in Grand Prairie. This is the same kind of weather we're having here right now. Uh, I don't sense there's been any damage in this area, but it was very gusty for a few minutes. I mean, extremely gusty. And now the wind is still uh, rather fresh, probably gusting as high as 35 to 40 miles an hour. And you can see the wind sucked rain. Mike? All right, Mike, Dr. thank Forbes. you. For